Hi students, uh, welcome. This is Miss Ng here. What you see right now on the screen is a list of a uh, trigonometric function question <laughs> posted by a, uh, a fan or a student who is a fan of my Facebook page. Uh, and uh, here it is. These are all the questions that he says it is confusing and he would like me to uh, post some tutorials for, for them. Now, I don't have the time to uh, go through all of them, but what I have done is the first four. Yeah, the first four. Okay, so um, I'm going to, this this first four, so I'm going to show this um, in the following video tutorial, but I'm going to have to break them into different video tutorials because it's going to be a bit long, yeah? Prove the following identities. This, number one, number two, number three, and number four. And uh, just a note, yeah? You may find the question here to be a bit, uh, a bit more challenging than the ones that you're used to. The reason is this is because this student is from a uh, is from Chongling School. Okay, Chongling High School is a Chinese independent high school, so um, they probably have the hardest math question and uh, the hard the hardest math standard among schools in Malaysia yeah so um, if you find the questions to be a bit challenging that is a uh, perfectly okay <laughs> okay that is perfectly okay uh, because generally SPM question will not be as hard as this okay but it would be nice if you can know them if you uh, can learn this as well so I'm going to uh, go through them uh, in the following uh, video tutorials okay so let's do the first question now uh, sine theta over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta over sine theta should equal to 2 cosecant theta. Let's do it in the next page, yeah? Okay, I'm going to write the question here. You're supposed to prove this, yeah? So sine theta over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta over sine theta is equal to 2 cosecant theta. Okay, now general rules eh? general rules or guidelines in proving trigonometric identities okay the general guidelines it doesn't always apply yeah but the general guidelines is this uh, you generally uh, proof from the side that has plus or minus that's the easiest way to understand it okay uh, you generally start proving from the side that has plus or minus and uh, prove it into the side that has uh, multiplication Okay, this is the general rule, all right? So in this case, in this question, it is very obvious that the left-hand side, this one, has got a plus here, right? This term is separated by the plus with this term. So you have to start from the left-hand side and move on to the right-hand side. That's the uh, general rule, the first general rule that you need to know. Okay, now when you see fraction, fraction, and then you see a plus, right? What you do is this, you see sine and you see cos, Okay, uh, in order to do this, you, um, you're you going to have to refer this to the trigonometric identities. You learn three trigonometric identities, right? And I'm going to write it over here. The first is uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. And then 1 plus tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta. 1 plus cotangent square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. Okay, so now by referring to the trigonometric identity, you can see that your question is all made out of sine and cos. So most likely, you're going to have to use this formula. However, this formula is all squares, sine square and cos square. So the first thing you do is to combine these two fractions because when you combine or when you do them, you will get squares of sine and squares of cos. This is how you do it. You do the fraction as if it's a normal fraction by multiplying the denominator. That means make the denominator the same, yeah? Make the bottom the same. So that means this one will times sine square. So you will get sine square theta, okay? Times sine square. And uh, this one, 1 plus cos theta will times with 1 plus cos theta. So it becomes 1 plus cos theta squared. Yeah, this times this. So the bottom or the denominator of the fraction will be 1 plus cos theta multiplied with sine theta, right? To make it the same. Okay, so you don't have to expand. Yeah, don't expand because we expect to cut things later. Okay, now, uh, now look at the top, yeah? See, you have sine square now. And if you were to expand this, you will have cos square. And you can probably use this formula. So this is the line of thinking that you need to have when you are trying to prove trigonometric identities because there's no specific rule in solving them. 
All right, so now let's um, let's expand and you can see further. So 1 plus cos theta. Now, basically, this is the same as a plus b square. You learned this in Form 3, right? So it's a square plus 2ab plus b square. It's a normal expansion, expansion, even though there is a cos. So you just do it as usual. So this becomes 1 square, which is 1, plus cos theta plus uh, times 1 times 2. So that's 2 cos theta. And cos theta times cos theta is uh, plus cos square theta. Okay, so that's your expansion over the bottom is 1 plus cos theta times with sine theta. Now, uh, that's equal, equal, equal. Now, can you see, can you see, you can straight away substitute the formula. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is this one. It's equal to 1. So immediately, these two gives you a 1 plus 1. Copy the rest that is, uh, that is left to cos theta over 1 plus cos theta times sine theta. Okay, now you may simplify the one on top. Now the idea is this, you try to simplify as much as possible and factorize so that you can cut off the top and the bottom. Alright, so let's look at it. Now you're actually very close. Huh? As you do, as you do, the technique is to refer, keep referring to what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to achieve 2 cosecant theta, which is 2 over sine theta. This is, uh, let me write it here. This is 2 over sine theta. Yeah, so you're trying to achieve this, yeah. So you gotta simplify this, you've got to simplify this so that you get this. Okay, so let's look at it. This is 2 plus 2 cos theta. So 2 plus 2 cos theta over 1 plus cos theta and sin theta. I think uh, some of you could have spotted uh, the solution now. You can take out the 2, so that's 1 plus cos theta. That leaves you with 1 plus cos theta at the bottom times sine theta. So can you now see you can cut this? So that leaves you with 2 over sine theta, which is the solution. So you're done with this question. <laughs> okay, so straight away, right? 2 equals to 2 cosecant theta, and that's done, proven. All right, so the, the, the technique, a few, a few techniques is this. Combine the fraction, if you can, if there's a plus and minus, do them, do it, do it, and then refer to the formula. See what is it that you have, and you may be able to substitute the correct things inside. And as you do, re keep referring to what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to make it into equals to 2 cosecant theta, or which is 2 over sine theta, so that you do not lose your objective, you know? So this is um, generally the technique that you use in proving trigonometric, tri trigonometric identities, yeah? Now I'm going to show you uh, the rest of the questions in other videos, so you uh, hang around, yeah? I'll see you in the following videos.